Okay, so today we're going to have a look at sides and angles in right-angled triangles. And suppose, let's say, that in this right-angled triangle here, that we're wanting to find this angle, which I'll call theta. Then the first thing to be aware of is that the side opposite the angle is called the opposite side. This side here, which contains both the angle and the right angle, is the adjacent side, while this side here, which is opposite the right angle, is the hypotenuse. And the formula you should be aware of are that sine theta equals the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. Cos theta, or cosine theta, is the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. And tan theta equals the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. And often people remember these as so, ka, toa for instance. Now let's have a look at how these work in practice in relation to a couple of examples. And so in the first example here, let's consider the following triangle. And note that the actual numbers and sides on here might not be exactly to scale. This is mainly for the purpose of showing you how to work out angles and sides. So suppose this side is length 4 and that this one is length 6.5 and that we want to find the angle theta over here. Then in this case, the side of length 4 is opposite theta, while the side of length 6.5 is the adjacent side. Therefore, we must use tan theta, since that is always the length of the opposite side, divided by the length of the adjacent side. And so in this case in particular, tan theta is going to be equal to 4 divided by 6.5. And at this stage, just make sure that you know whether your calculator is in degree or radian mode for your answer. I'm going to compute this one in degree mode in this case, which will give me theta is then going to be the inverse tan of 4 divided by 6.5, which will work out to be 31.61 degrees, degrees correct to two decimal places. The other type of situation that commonly occurs in right angled triangles is sometimes you might know the length of one side. So suppose I know the length of this side is 8 for instance. You might know an angle in the triangle in addition to the right angle. So I might know that that's 43 degrees for instance. And I might want to calculate the length of another side such as in this situation here. And in this case, again, I'd start off by looking at which sides do we actually have in relation to the angle. And here, this side x of length x is actually adjacent to the angle, while the side of length 8 being opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. So which formula uses the adjacent and the hypotenuse? That is cos theta. So here, therefore, we would have cos 43 degrees is going to be equal to x divided by 8. Then from there, what we're going to need to do is to make x the subject. We should multiply both sides by 8, giving us x is equal to 8 times cos 43 degrees, which in this case works out to be 5.85, correct to two decimal places. So these are examples of working out angles and the length of sides in right angled triangles. And you might also be interested in tuning into our other session on what we do in the case where the triangle is not right angled. Thank you.